Welcome back to Roaming and Recording. I'm Brenda, and today we want to share the mesmerizing island of San Miguel in the Azores. We stopped here on a cruise and can't wait to return for an extended stay. This place is absolutely amazing, waiting to be discovered. But before we dive into the wonders of this enchanting island, let's answer the burning question. What and where exactly are the Azores? Well, my friends, nestled in the heart of the Atlantic Ocean, the Azores are an archipelago composed of nine volcanic islands. Known as the Green Islands, these Portuguese territories boast unparalleled natural beauty with emerald landscapes, cascading waterfalls, and rugged coastlines that are worth your time to explore. Our excursion kicked off with a visit to the Gorena Tea Plantation, the oldest and only tea plantation in Europe. Established in 1883, this family-owned estate has been producing some of the finest organic teas for over a century. Walking through the lush tea fields surrounded by rolling hills and ocean vistas was a perfect way to start our day. As we learned about the cultivation and harvesting process, we couldn't help but admire the dedication and craftsmanship that goes into each cup of tea. Of course, we had to stock up on a few varieties to take home. Next up, we embarked on a fairly easy hike up an inactive volcano, where we were treated to panoramic views of the charming town of Furness below. There is a pavement up to the scenic view and many beautiful flowers on the way. Fun fact, San Miguel is home to numerous volcanic craters, adding to its unique allure and geological diversity. Next, we went to a botanical paradise as we explore the Terra Nostra Botanical Garden and Thermal Spa. Nestled within the heart of San Miguel, this hidden oasis is a true haven for plant enthusiasts and relaxation seekers alike. With its lush greenery, vibrant blooms, and tranquil pathways, the garden is a feast for the senses. This park po boasts lush botanical wonders, including more than 2,000 species of trees from all four corners of the globe, including towering palms and over 600 varieties of camillas, of vibrant azaleas, and exotic ferns. But what truly sets this place apart is its natural thermal pool, heated by the island's geothermal activity. The natural hot pool is iron and mineral rich, and people seek it out to bathe in the 103 degree water to relax and rejuvenate. They say it's beneficial for arthritis and other ailments. We didn't get to jump in, but talk about pure relaxation and miss nature's beauty? Oh my. Last, but certainly not least, no trip would be complete without experiencing the wonder of Furnace's natural hot springs and geysers. Tucked away amidst the charming town, these geological marvels offer a glimpse into the island's volcanic heartbeat. From bubbling mud pots to steaming vents, the landscape is alive with the sights and sounds of Mother Nature's raw power. The geothermal activity of the Furnace isn't just a spectacle, it also serves as a practical resource for the local community. The naturally heated water is utilized for a range of purposes, from powering thermal baths and spas to providing energy for heating homes and greenhouses. Additionally, the high temperatures in certain areas allow for the traditional cooking method, where pots are filled with ingredients, are buried into the volcanic soil, and slow cooked by the Earth's natural heat. This unique culinary tradition not only produces delicious meals, but also showcases the symbiotic relationship between humans and the geothermal environment. And there you have it, our shore excursion to Seo Miguel Azores. From tea plantations to geothermal wonders, this island has truly stolen our hearts. If you enjoyed tagging along, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and ring that notification bell for more travel escapades with roaming and recording. Until next time, keep living your best life. Bye-bye for now.